Hello, my name is Gerald Espinoza, Clinical Specialist for PlanMeca USA. In this video, I will teach you how to use rubber tooth to adjust the contours of your patient's restorations. I did make some adjustments to the proposals to make them less than ideal. In this case, we have numbers 29 and 30 to design. Before we get started, let's select the tools that we will need. Left click the Alt tab to make both teeth active to adjust. Then rubber tooth to make the adjustments as needed. The first step is staying on that occlusal view. I will need to roll the scroll wheel towards me to enlarge the model so that I can better evaluate the embrasures. Remember, both teeth are active to adjust so that we can control the embrasures with the shared contacts better and not over contour the restorations. The second step, left click the mesial arrow in the quick view circle. I will do three slight rotations staying on the mesial view. First rotation is to evaluate the buccal contours. The restoration should follow the neighboring teeth contours. Next, a slight rotation to evaluate the lingual contours to follow the neighboring teeth. The third rotation in the mesial view will be to evaluate the mesial marginal ridge. These should be at the same height as the mesial neighbor's marginal ridge. The third step, left click the distal arrow in the quick view circle. I will do three slight rotations. First, to evaluate the buccal contours. These should follow the same as the neighboring teeth. Second, a slight rotation to evaluate the lingual contours. And the third rotation in the distal view will be to evaluate the distal marginal ridge. This should be at the same height as the distal neighbor's marginal ridge. The fourth step is to left click the buccal arrow of the quick view circle. In the buccal view, I will evaluate cuss tips and adjust to the same height as the neighbors. The next thing I evaluate is the concavities near the gum line and adjust to remove those concavities. The fifth step is to left click the lingual arrow in the quick view circle. I will evaluate the cuss tips and adjust to the same height as the neighbors. Next, evaluate the concavities near the gum line and adjust as needed. Now you can pick one tooth at a time to go through its function. Thanks for watching Rubber Tooth for Contours. Come back and watch more videos.